cover now the topic of how to um, back up um, recording files from the DVR onto an external hard drive or USB, in this case a USB. So which port first of all to use in the back of the DVR? Basically insert the, the USB key into the uh, USB port that's not marked for use with the mouse. Okay, uh, That's probably the simplest way of describing it. So I'm just going to right click here on my mouse, hit the main menu. The first thing I'm going to do is just go over and format this. So I'm just going to go uh, USB format uh, and press OK. Just wait a moment here. So we can be sure the USB uh, is blank and it's in the right format for doing the recordings. Okay, so that's a handy feature that it's built into the DVR. And now we're just going to playback mode. Um, we'll just set the date to yesterday's date, which is basically the 14th of February. I hit the return button here. I do a search. And now I just go down to the file list here. So basically it gives me the choice of the different cameras that are recording. Uh, and I can just go to the time frame that I wanted. So there's an incident there at um, about uh, half two or three in the morning that I want to uh, flick to. So, um, and I know that the recording I want to get um, is um, on camera uh, number two. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna select camera number two here. Uh, I hit select. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say back up. So uh, what starts off here is kicks off a process. Now this could actually take three or four minutes, so we're just gonna kill it at this point here. And I could actually um, break into um, file one and two, okay, possibly on this thing. Um, the record here is set on, the blocks are in 30 minute blocks. And uh, that's the default with this DVR. You can set them to block size between 15 uh, minutes and one hour, okay. So at the end of this process, let's just say backup successful, and at that point you'll be able to remove the, the USB and bring it, we'll say, to a third party, the guardie, whatever like that. Obviously you will have viewed the particular incident uh, on the DVR or your net DVR uh, playback and know that that particular camera at that particular time is what you're looking for. So that's it anyway, an overview of how to do a backup uh, of uh, a file on your DVR onto a USB key.